It's the night before Halloween, and we're celebrating with crumble cookies! Woo! Do you want to do the honors and open the box? Ready? Sure. Three, three, two, two one. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Ooh, baby! So first we have milk chocolate chip, banana upside down cake, pink velvet cake, confetti milkshake, Kentucky butter cake, and sticky bun. <gasps> Ooh, sticky bun. Oh my Ooh. god. You don't like that one? <gasps> I'm so excited for every single one. I feel like I'm most excited for the banana cake one. You're most excited for the vanilla confetti milkshake. I'm gonna be mean, ready? Mm. Yeah. Okay, guys, which one do you think we're gonna like the most? Let's do milk chocolate chip first. Okay. It's a classic. Okay. Three, two, one. It tastes the same as it always does. It's like nothing. It tastes too flowery, at least this week. The ratios are not ratioing. It. They're not ratioing. I had that up. I'm giving that a seven out of 10. Next up, we're going to be trying the pink velvet cake. Three, two, one. Mmm, that is so good. I the cake batter. Oh my God. It tastes like the birthday cake Brewster's ice cream in cookie formation. I give that an 8.5 out of 10. Nine. A nine. That's intense. Which one do you want to do next, Callie? Kentucky butter cake. Kentucky butter cake. This one's going to be good. Three, Three two, two, one. <gasps> nothing. You think it tastes like nothing? I know. I think compared to the other one, like... It's dense. No, it tastes like a funnel cake to me. I'm going to give it a six. I'm going to give it a 7.5. It's more plain, but I think it's good. It tastes a little salty, though. I'm going to stick with a 7.5. So, guys... We're trying banana upside down cake. I'm so excited. We need a fork for this. This is one of those crumble cakes, not crumble cookies. It smells like bananas. It was like bananas, you said? <laughs> She's like, it smells like bananas. <laughs> Three, two, one. <clears throat> oh my. That's a 10. That's an 11. That is the best thing I've ever tasted. I love that. Same. Next in line is confetti milkshake. Let's do it, baby. Ooh, this one's nice and cold. I love it whenever they're cold. Ready? Three, Three two, one. This one doesn't taste like much. I like it. It reminds me of the pink velvet, but just cold. I'm gonna give it a solid seven. I'm gonna give it a solid seven too, actually. It's good, but it's nothing special. Raspberry is sticky bun. Mmm, Callie's just taking a little piece. Oh. It doesn't smell good to you. Oh my god, it smells so good to me. Three, two, Three. one. Mmm. I, like I like it. I love that one. I think you're just cookied out. Yeah. It tastes like a snickerdoodle. I'm giving this a nine out of ten. Six. Just had too many cookies. I'm gonna rate this week, honestly, an eight. I thought they were really, really good. Spooky season is my absolute favorite. Like, who doesn't like spooky season? I, there's so much to do. There's pumpkin patches. And baking. Scary movies. Haunted houses. Hay rides. There's just so, so much, much to do. do. Honest God, can you think of one single person who doesn't like Halloween? Two seconds later. Karen. Of course. She's the only human being in the entire world who doesn't like Halloween. Karen hates a lot of things in life, including people, colors, music, sweets, holidays, except for President's Day. That's the only holiday she likes. And Memorial Day. And Memorial, true. President's Day and Memorial Day are the only ones she, she can tolerate. Easter. No, she doesn't. She's highly religious. Of course she likes Easter. Yeah, but she doesn't put up bunnies or anything. She still likes it more than she likes Halloween. No, she likes religious holidays and presidential holidays because Halloween, she sees it as like ghosts and devils and she's yeah. like, that's nah, nah, nah. Like, mm -hmm. okay, well. Cause she's so pessimistic. God forbid, you know, you decorate your house with some autumn leaves and pumpkins. It's just so terrible. She likes Thanksgiving. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She she's no she's not thankful for anything and she has no family. Yeah. I mean, she used to like Thanksgiving we don't in really... 3000 BC. 3000 BC? So. <laughs> She just sucks the fun out of absolutely everything. Like, you could still be religious and like Halloween. I know. Honestly, how much you want to bet tonight she's going absolutely crazy because not only is tomorrow Halloween her least favorite holiday, but also we're supposed to have a full moon tonight. She's probably howling at the moon right now. So. <laughs> Karen's bedtime is literally like 7 p.m. So maybe, maybe she won't be awake for it. That would be nice. Like, she, guys. She goes to bed when it's still like daylight. It's actually ridiculous. I wonder what she's doing right now. Nice evening walk. I'm gonna see if I got any mail. I got a mail in two weeks. Oh, Susan Baker. Haven't seen her in 10 years. Oh no. Karen, I'm still recovering from the brain damage that you gave me from working with you 10 years ago. Come as a witch, have an unhappy Halloween, Susan Baker, whatever, Susan. What's in here? Ah, it's a bug! I'm sick of this Halloween. Take that back. 
Fuck mailman. Stupid Halloween. The number you dialed is not in service. The number you dialed is not in service. my robe. Meanwhile. So right now, Callie and I are getting the candy ready for tomorrow's trick-or-treaters. We have Nerds Gummy Clusters, these big chewy nerds, and then we have little boxes of classic pink and purple nerds. And then we have a big bag. It has Reese's, Kit Kats, Haribo Gummy Bears, and Hershey Kisses. kisses little Hershey Kisses. If you were trick-or-treating at my house, which would you rather have, the Nerds bag or this mix? I'd probably rather have the chocolatey mix, honestly. One pumpkin's gonna have chocolatey stuff, mostly, and the other's gonna have nerds. I wonder what Karen passes out for trick or treat. Probably celery, carrots, and toothbrushes. I was just gonna say toothbrushes! I bet she doesn't even pass out candy at all. She probably just sleeps. No, actually, she doesn't even pass out candy. Like, that's what I'm saying. She probably passed out her garden beans. <laughs> her what? Gardening weeds, like the weeds that she picks out of her garden. <laughs> Or, 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 or her fake flowers. Or her snail's food. Wait, I wonder, does she feed her pet rock? Probably not. It's the most low maintenance pet. Okay, we need to make a sign that says take two. Um, you know, I have a confession. I have a guilty confession. When I was a kid and I was trick or treating, if we would go to a house that said like take two, I'd just go like this. Oh no. Well, <laughs> I mean, like, shoes over here. But that's bad. That's selfish. I've come a long way. <laughs> I'm just so happy that Karen isn't our problem anymore. Like, honestly, it sucked being neighbors with her during any holiday, especially Halloween, because our entire neighborhood goes all out. She was the only house in the whole neighborhood that didn't have any decorations or keep yeah. a portrait from for Chico Chico. Like, the nothing. only house. She didn't do anything, guys. Maybe that one home. They were yeah. on like a trip. They still had that big thing of candy out. Right, she's the only one that didn't participate like at all. So, I mean, I have no idea what she's doing this year. I assume nothing's really changed with her. She probably still doesn't do anything. But again, she's not our problem anymore. So mm -hmm. we'll never know. All right, guys. So Callie is making the take two sign. Make sure you put two really big. Yeah, take two greedy. Outside. Hopefully they'll actually take two. Maybe they'll take them all now because they'll be mad that you called them greedy animals. Let's put them, yeah, right here, right here. Perfect. Take two, you greedy animals. Guys, do you know what that's from? Except filthy animals is the OG. There we go. Wow, really, Callie? Take two, you greedy animals. Oh, all ready for Halloween night tomorrow. Sleep, it's too bright out.
stupid sun not going down. Two seconds later. Um, we don't recommend that you watch any scary movies by yourselves if you're young, so just okay. saying. But we're gonna watch a Conjuring, super popular, super scary. Um, okay, let's pop some popcorn. Let's pop some pop and pop popcorn. Let's pop some pop and pop popcorn. What do you like to do the night before Halloween? Do you do anything special? Let us know. Bah! Bah! I hate you so much. Oh, Callie. Alright, I'm making popcorn. This is such a nice little background. Oh, I love the smell of popcorn. Popcorn's in the microwave. Go fetch your favorite candy. Fetch, fetch. <laughs> we should get like every candy that we have. Okay, so we got Nerds Gummy Clusters. We've got, oh, okay, fruit strips. Okay, a little healthier, a little healthier. Oh, Sour Patch Kids. Oh my God, I have so much candy. Skittles Gummies. Regular Nerds Clusters. And a Summer Strawberry Fruit Snacks. Swedish Fish. More, oh my god, I have two boxes of these? Why? Fruit by the foot. These are the Sour Patch Apple Edition. Oh, guys, Callie and I got this when we went to Hershey Park. This is a Ghost Toast Kit Kat bar. Okay, this is the last thing. Nutella is the last thing. Callie. <gasps> oh, never mind. This, this is very necessary. Popcorn butter. Speaking of which, I need to take the popcorn out early because I was burning. It's pop secrets. Pop, pop. We're gonna go find her in a minute, but first, ooh, baby, look at that. I've never seen anything more perfect in my life. 
Perfect for a scary movie. All right, let's go find Callie. Callie, these snacks are not gonna eat themselves. They're really not. I know you're always in here. Always. Wait, really? Oh, okay, I was wrong. I thought she'd be in there. Pantry. Oh my God, I see you. That was good though, you look dead. She made a little paper towel, toilet paper barrier. Anyway, you know what's so crazy to think about? Literally right now, as of right now, Karen is freaking sleeping. Isn't that insane? Like the sun is still up. She goes to bed at 7 p.m. We gotta stop eating this. We have to go put the movie on because there's not gonna be any left as she continues to eat. We need to put some butter on this. Callie's gonna do the honors. Ooh, yeah. Now try it, see how much butter it is. Mmm. Wait, guys, take a bite. Ready? Kale's nightmare. Need tea. Mm. Now back to bed. What are you doing up there? It's time for bed. Mr. Rocket, it's okay. I know, you're losing your hair. You're losing your hair. Night, night time. What are you doing up there? Treaters. <sighs> Those trick or treaters, I swear. Once I find them, why are all they making noise around the house? Wake up! The serious part's about to come on. Uh, someone's calling me. Karen? It's Wait, past are you sure? Bedtime. Oh my god, that is her number! I ignored it. Hopefully she doesn't try calling me. Two seconds later. Wait, what? Um... Karen's trying to call me too? She never calls me, period. Exactly, she doesn't call you. So why the heck is she calling you right now? You know what? She's ruined enough of our nights. It's the night before Halloween. We're trying to enjoy a movie. We moved from that neighborhood literally to get away from her. So She's calling again. No, we are under no She's obligation. Again. We're under no obligation to answer her. Let's just, let's just ignore it and watch us, okay? 
November 1st, 1971, sitting here with Carolyn Perrin, who and her family has been experiencing supernatural occurrences. We pick it up, Eddie. <laughs> Exactly like me, and I saw Barbara. Halloween isn't even till tomorrow. Yeah, Karen, no offense, but I think you're kind of getting a little cuckoo, cuckoo crazy. crazy. There were definitely no trick or treaters at your door tonight, and Barbara's dead. So you didn't so you see her? Did not see Barbara. Yes, I did! I'm seeing you tonight. Uh, no, stop, stop it right there! Hey, you are right. not sleeping here! No! No, that's my room that I'm sleeping in tonight. Karen, no, I'm sleeping in here. <laughs> no, I'm sleeping in here. You cannot just come into my house and proclaim that you're just gonna spend the night. Ah, I'm sleeping in here. I'm gonna fight you. Get out of my bed. Oh, uh, let's not do that. Karen, why are you sleeping like a dead person? And she's asleep. Are you what? I am. I'm out. I give up. I'm not. No. Nope, I'm out. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Literally, what just happened? I don't know. We, I don't know. We were, guys, we were literally just sitting, watching a scary movie, minding our own business, trying to enjoy our favorite time of the year. Kaylin, Bull just in. It's like, I'm sleeping here. You know what we should do? No, no, wait. You know what? Send her to a mental hospital. We should send her to a mental hospital. But guys, did you hear what she was saying? She was literally proclaiming that, okay, ready? That trick-or-treaters came to her door and she saw Barbara. Oh, guys, Barbara's been dead for like six months. She did not see Barbara. And again, it's not even Halloween yet. Tomorrow is Halloween. Guys, she is, oh my God, she's insane. I'm kind of concerned, <sighs> like Loki. Bro, like, I, I, well, I knew something was fishy when she was calling you. What do we do with her? Honestly. Do you just want to, like, leave her here, like, go to a hotel? I kind of want to go to a hotel, but what's she going to do to my house? I don't think anything. She's going to sleep in a dead bug. Wait, I have an idea. Lock her I was just going to say, let's go lock the door. Like, literally barricade it and lock it, and let's ditch this place and get a hotel. Because I don't want to be breathing the same air as Karen. Okay, do we know how to do that? I do. Okay, Wait, Callie. What? Do you know where the keys are? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't wake her up. Don't wake her up. Okay. Did you double lock? Okay. And we have to shut this door too. Yeah. Let's lock this one too. So she can't get out. It's double lock. Double protection, okay. Anyways, guys, we took care of Karen. We're gonna check her into a mental hospital first thing tomorrow morning. We hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big giant thumbs up. And we will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Have a safe and happy Halloween.